Welcome to Make Easy. In this specific video of Grade 10 Computer Science, I will help you to explore the topic Contemporary Technology or we can say Modern Technology. Stick on this video to be clear with the concept What Contemporary Technology is and its applications. Oh, oh wait a second. Don't be confused with the term Applications. It simply means where it is used or for what purpose it is used. And we will explore each application in detail. And examples too. Okay let me tell you. What are the topics we will cover in this short video? Number 1. What does contemporary technology exactly mean? Number 2. E-governance. And its types. Number 3. E-learning. And its types. Number 4. E-commerce. Number 5. Cloud computing. And services of cloud computing. And types of cloud computing. Number 6. Artificial intelligence. Its applications and uses. Number 7. Virtual reality. And its applications. Number 8. Internet of Things. IoT. Now I let's talk about. What does contemporary technology exactly mean? The word contemporary indicates modern or emerging technology available in the world. There are sets of terms related to contemporary technology, but we will discuss some important only. Okay to your learners let's explore the term e-governance. E-governance means electronic governance is the integration or use of information and communication technology ICT in all the government processes with the aim of enhancing government ability to address the needs of the general public the basic purpose of e-governance is to simplify processes for all that is government citizens businesses etc at national state and local levels examples of e-government can be various services offered for citizens or businesses or between institutions, such as e-procurement, filling tax returns, renew, ID, passport, or driving license, and all the forms and application required for starting business, college application, etc. E-governance is of four types depending on the specific types of services. Number 1. Government to Citizen G2C. The government to citizen refers to the government services that are accessed by the familiar peoples. A citizen can have access to the services anytime. From anywhere. Furthermore, many services like license renewals. And paying tax. Are essential in G2C. Number 2. Government to business, G2B. The government to business is the exchange of services. Between government and business organizations. Furthermore, many services like firm registration, renewals, and paying tax are essential in G2C. Number 3. Government to Government, G2G. The government to government refers to the interaction between different government department, organizations, and agencies. In G2G, government agencies can share the same database using online communication. It can communicate with global government and local government as well. Likewise, it provides safe and secure interrelationship between domestic or foreign government. Number 4. Business to government. Refers to the interaction between business firm and the government. Where business firm provides software. Or other types of services to the government institution. Number 5. Government to employee, G2E. G2E aims to bring employees together and improvise knowledge sharing. Similarly, G2E provides online facilities to the employees. Likewise, applying for leave, reviewing salary payment record, and checking the balance of holiday. Now let's talk about e-learning. My dear friends you are watching this YouTube video. This is the best example of e-learning. Because e-learning is a mode of learning that takes place electronically often via the internet. It requires students to use electronic devices such as computers, tablets, or cell phones. 
Okay then what about its types? Number 1. Synchronous learning. It refers to instructors and students gathering at the same time virtually and interacting in real time. Example. Zoom class online. Number 2. Asynchronous learning. It refers to students accessing materials at their own pace and interacting with each other over longer periods. Not in real time. Example. Watching YouTube video and learning from online courses. Now the next topic is e-commerce. E-commerce simply refers to buying and selling of goods or services over the internet and the exchange of information to execute the transaction. More more details click on i button. We have created separate video about it. Shall we continue? Of course answer is yes. Because it's not too boring. Ok now the trending topic. Cloud computing. If I say cloud is nothing. But someone else computer in different. Or other location. Ok let's deep dive into it. It is the delivery of computing resources, including storage. Processing power. Databases, networking. Analytics. Artificial intelligence. And software applications. Over the internet, the cloud. It eliminates the need for enterprises to procure, configure, or manage resources by themselves. And they only pay for what they use. Cloud computing services come mainly in three types of service models. Number 1. SaaS, Software as a Service. Number 2. IaaS, Infrastructure as a Service. Number 3. PaaS, Platform as a Service. OK let's explore SaaS or software as a service, is a model that gives quick access to cloud-based web applications. The vendor controls the entire computing stack, which you can access using a web browser. These applications run on the cloud and you can use them by a paid licensed subscription, or for free with limited access. Some known examples of SaaS include Google G Suite, Microsoft Office 365, Dropbox, Zoom application, etc. Second type is infrastructure as a service. An IaaS cloud provider can give you the entire range of computing infrastructures such as storage, servers, networking hardware, alongside maintenance and support. Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Compute Engine are some of the leading IaaS cloud service providers. Now the third category is Platform as a Service Platform as a Service or PaaS is essentially a cloud base where you can develop, test, and organize the different applications for your business. Implementing PaaS simplifies the process of enterprise software development. The virtual runtime environment provided by PaaS gives a favorable space for developing and testing applications. Last few things about clouds. That is, private cloud and public cloud. A private cloud is a service that is completely controlled by a single organization and not shared with others. While a public cloud is a subscription service that is also offered to any and all customers who want similar services. Next contemporary technology is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a wide-ranging branch of computer science concerned with building smart machines capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence. Example of AI are Google Maps, face detection and recognition, and autocorrect, chatbots, applications of AI listed below. Hope you are getting what I'm trying to show you in this video. Anyway let's continue with another technology called Virtual Reality Virtual Reality is a simulated 3D environment that enables users to explore and interact with a virtual surrounding in a way that approximates reality as it is perceived through the user senses. Applications of VR range from academic research through to engineering, design, business, and the arts, and entertainment. The most trending technology, the Internet of Things, IoT. After hearing the term IoT, 
You might be thinking, IoT means YouTube, Facebook and other web apps. My dear friends, IoT isn't the same what you're thinking. So let me tell you what exactly IoT mean. It describes the network of physical objects, things, that are embedded with sensors, software, and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and systems over the Internet. These devices range from ordinary household objects to sophisticated industrial tools. With more than 7 billion connected IoT devices today, applications of IoT are Number 1. Wearables Number 2. Health Number 3. Traffic monitoring Number 4. Agriculture Number 5. Hospitality Number 6. Water supply Number 7. Smart home And smart city For detailed video click on i button. There is another video about it. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you are clear with the concept contemporary technology. If yes then click on like button and subscribe to my channel. Watch this video once again if you have confusion. And be clear. Have a wonderful day.